Lab 3 asks us to figure out whether or not Burp Suite can support the interception and proctoring of WebSocket messages. If so, which direction? And it gives us several choices. So to check this, we need to find out if Burp Suite even supports WebSocket messages in its proxy interface. And if so, does, which way does it support that traffic? So to test this, we have our browser set up to use Burp as a proxy. And we have Burp running. And then we're going to use a test tool, WebSocket, wssweb.socket.net, because this website allows us to send data to WebSocket servers, and they even have their own servers set up if you just want to test. So we need, need to create some traffic. We already browsed out to the website. That created an HTTP packet and a response. So we'll now we'll create some WebSocket traffic. So we're going to connect send a message over, send some text over, and disconnect. Let's go back over to Burp Suite. So in Burp Suite, we see our normal HTTP traffic, just like we're used to. Here's our initial visit to the website, request and response. And then here is us upgrading our connection to WebSockets. So we see a request to upgrade the WebSockets here on the left. And then we see that the connection was indeed upgraded on the right. Now, what about the WebSocket traffic? Well, there's a tab next to the HTTP history for WebSocket history. And here we can see the WebSocket flows. And we see data flowing to the server in several connections. And then we see data coming from the server back to the client in other connections. So as it turns out, our suite does support WebSocket interception. And it also allows you to send this traffic over to other tools like the repeater and the compare so that you can replay the WebSocket request. And this traffic is intercepted in both directions. Going back over to the browser to where the question was, the answer is that the traffic is bi-directional, bi-directional support, meaning that the client can push data to the server or the server can push data to the client over WebSockets. 